Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on linking volume and capacity. What is volume? Volume is the measure of space taken up by a solid object. To measure volume we use cubic centimetres or cubic metres. We write it like this, the letters CM to the power of 3, that means cubic centimetres. It is important to understand the difference between volume and capacity. In simple terms, volume is the amount of space inside a 3D object. On the other hand, capacity deals with the amount of liquid that the 3D object can hold. What is capacity? Capacity is the amount of liquid that a solid shape can contain. To measure capacity, we use milliliters or liters. From a previous video, it is essential to remember that a thousand milliliters equals one liter. One thousand milliliters are contained in one thousand cubic centimeters. Finally, one cubic centimeter holds one milliliter of liquid. Containers which are significantly different in shape can have the same or different volumes. This means that their capacities will be the same or different. Assume that each container to the left was filled with water. How do we find the capacity of each container? How do we find the volume of each container? The answers pour the contents of each container into the container to the right. The reading will tell you the capacity and the volume. For example, let's assume you poured one of those containers into here and the capacity was 800 millilitres. Let's say the water went up to there. Therefore the volume has to be 800 cubic centimetres. And that's how you link capacity and volume. One cubic centimetre. The simplest configuration of the cubic centimetre is as follows. It is a cube measuring one centimetre by one centimetre by one centimetre. That's the simplest. Basically it represents a cube where the length of each side is one centimetre. Now you can have different configurations or different measurements. They don't have to look like this. Have a look at this here. A volume of one cubic centimetre does not need to have the shape of a cube. It can have the shape of a rectangular prism and that's a rectangular prism here and it has a length of two centimetres, a width of one centimetre and a height of half a centimetre. So if you multiply two by one by a half that gives you one cubic centimetre, see? So it doesn't have to be a cube because the volume of this object is the same as the volume of this object. And finally, very important to remember, a cubic centimetre, that is one cubic centimetre, has a capacity of one millilitre.